Welcome back everybody into a new video of TechPress. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with the free hosting of the Infinity Free. A really, really great tutorial for those who wanted to create your very hosting, uh, for example, WordPress and so much more elements totally for free. So, uh, Infinity Free is a free website that we actually discovered a few months ago where you can help hosting services that offer unlimited disk displays and bandwidth for over 12 years. So it's perfect for beginners or those on a low budget. To get started, you have the link to download in the description, guys, so you can, of course, register now with the link to the link down below in the description. So to get started, of course, it's gonna be asking you to enter an email as well as a passcode. Once you have chosen an actual passcode, it's gonna be asking you to confirm this passcode. And of course, I have read and agreed to the terms of services and go for the sign up. It's going to be asking you to verify your email address in order to continue to so do that and go back directly into Infinity. Once you have verified that process, you might be having access to the dashboard of the Infinity Free. So, um, once your email is course verified, you will be prompted to choose a domain name. So you can start by creating your very first hosting account. So if I choose, let's say, create my account. It's going to be show, uh, showing you which one can you use. If you choose the free version, you have access to unlimited hosting domains, bandwidth, and a disk space. So I can go for create now. And here it's going to be asking me for an actual subdomain or a custom domain. So here is a domain extension that you can use totally for free. So let's say, for example, that I use this one and I go for the subdomain. And I look out for something that can be really useful for me. Let's say, for example, Studio 10 and check the availability. If this one is available for you, then you can continue with the account label. So let's go for a show description of the held identified account. So let's say, for example, website for Studio 10. Or let's say, for example, Studio 10 website. Um, and here into the account passcode, we have this by default. So in this case, I'm going to delete it and look out for a new one. Now I can open my control panel in order to continue. So my account and my username is this bot. So I'm going to copy it and finished. Now we can start hosting totally for free. Now, as you can see, we have the account detail, the static pending creation. There's the label, the website, hosting volume, and much more elements. So to get started, first of all, with setting up your account, you just have to wait a few minutes till the Infinity Free has setting up your actual account. So you can, of course, refresh it, just wait a few seconds till you have access to the domain and the website options. Now, into my site builders, I do have the domain that we have just created. I can use this domain to create an actual website. This one should be sending me directly into my site pro compatibility, just to make sure this actually works for me. Now, in my case, the actual side builder can be, of course, with the side pro. With this side pro, you can use whatever element you wanted to get started in. So let's say, for example, you want to get started with an actual block. So if I click here, let's say, for example, I choose the word blocked. I have all of these templates that focus into a blocked website. So choose the one that suits for yourself and go for select. Once you selected all of those elements, then what you can do is to get started by customizing your actual website. So to secure your website, you can of course set up a SSL by navigating to the SSL section into the cPanel. You can of course focus here into the free SSL certificate and here you're going to go for new certificate. So I click on it and what you want to do is to copy and paste the domain that was generated for you. So in my case, let's say for example that I go for published. And here is my website. So I copy this website, I go back, and here's my domain name, and I create my order. Since this is totally for free, you might be having a recode name, a domain, a destination, and the current destination, of course, that is not ready. So the DNS can change, can of course, uh, changes and taking a few hours to that. So this one, of course, it should be focusing automatically. So you want to make sure that your uh, order has not been created. So in this case, here is my current destination, and we are actually good to go. Now into the domain checker, you can see how great it is. You can see the knowledge base. If you want to change this, of course, to really free. You have an actual profile to create more infinity free profiles and the account to check out all of your new elements that you can just to check it out there. So lastly, guys, uh, what you want to do is to into your browser, navigate to the website URL to ensure everything looks correctly. Everything looks great. 
and you now have access directly into the store. In this case, of course, what I need to do is to make sure that I do have now the certificate into the SSL before I can check out my actual store. So guys, there you have it. You have successfully hosted your free website using the Infinity Free. There's a lot of things to cover, but this is just a few uh, easy elements you can do for a basic uh, creation of a hosting of a website. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And well, hopefully we can all see you next time.